In this video, I'll be going over 15 different ChatGPT plugins that you can use as a content creator to make better videos and a bunch of other things that will make your life as a creator a lot easier. If you're a content creator, then you're probably already really familiar with struggles like writer's block, coming up with ideas, time management, and things of that nature. You know that creating a full video from start to finish is a very time consuming and mentally draining task. And so that's why all the prompts that I'm going over today will help you with that. So let's not waste any more time and get straight into the video. Okay, so go ahead and open up ChatGPT on your web browser right now and feel free to follow along with me as I type in some of these prompts that I show you. Now, if you guys don't have ChatGPT4, then I highly recommend actually investing in it. It's a much better model than the normal ChatGPT 3.5. And if you guys are brand new to AI and you don't even know what this website is, we'll leave a link down below for you guys to check it out. It's super easy. You just have to create an account and you can use it right away. But anyways, the first topic that we're gonna be going over is using ChatGPT to to brainstorm ideas, right? Like every single video starts off with an idea. And to quote from Mr. Beast, you really have to create a hundred bad ideas before you reach your first good idea. So that's where ChatGPT can come in handy. You know, it can create a ton of different ideas for you to choose from and gain inspiration from. So this first prompt is gonna be able to help you do that. So as you guys can see, I wrote, can you give me topic ideas for niche for audience who are specific adjective? And throughout the video, I'll be actually leaving blanks like this so that you guys can put in whatever you want because every channel has different topics that they go over and different niches as well as a different audience and who they serve. So yeah, feel free to type all of this stuff in and follow along and then also go ahead and change up some of the blanks and match it with your YouTube channel. So just to give you guys an example of something that I can put, let's just say that I want to create some recipe ideas. So I'll put some recipe ideas right here and then now I can choose the niche. So let's say my niche is in the Asian food category. Okay, now I can go ahead and choose my audience. So who's my specific audience, right? And then now I can put in a specific adjective to match with my audience. This is totally optional, but if you guys have any specific adjectives that you wanna label with your audience, you guys can put it here. So boom, based off of this example, I'm gonna say, can you give me some recipe ideas for an Asian food cooking channel for people that love watching food tutorials that are educational and funny, who are total beginners to cooking. So as you guys can see, this is super specific. And if I go ahead and enter this, it'll go ahead and spit out five different recipes that are beginner friendly. Okay, so now that it's done, as you guys can see, it actually was pretty spot on with putting in the educational component as well as the humor component. So as you guys saw, I put that I want it to be funny as well as educational. So again, the more specific that you can be with ChatGPT, the better responses that you can get. Obviously with all of these responses, I could just go ahead and regenerate or I could say, give me 10 more. And then it'll go ahead and just keep on generating more ideas for you to choose from. Now, the second prompt that you can use ChatGPT for is actually doing keyword research. So if you guys didn't know, YouTube is the second largest search engine, which means that a lot of people every day are using YouTube search bar as pretty much a Google search bar. So they're looking for things like tutorials, how to guys, and just a bunch of educational videos so that they can get information. This is where you can use ChatGPT to actually find popular keywords within your niche. And that will allow you to ultimately make videos that will rank higher on search. So this is the prompt right here. What are some good YouTube keywords for the blank niche? So right here, you would just add in your topic. So going based off of the previous example, I'll just put in for the Asian food cooking tutorials niche. I'll go ahead and press enter. And now as you guys can see, it's created 20 different keywords that I could use within the video title, the description and the tags that will increase my videos visibility on YouTube search. Super easy, you can customize this for your own channel's niche. And you can also go ahead and plug in a bunch of other specific information uh, such as like your audience. And you can even go based off of other videos that have ranked really high for search before. Okay, moving on to the third prompt, we have using ChatGPT to actually create outlines for your video. So once you've used it to come up with good keywords and then you've come up with ideas that you can use, you can now take those ideas and keywords and then be able to create an outline based off of the video that you'd like. So here's the prompt. I am making a YouTube video about blank. Can you write me an outline that includes blank subtopic and also suggest some related topics that I can cover in the video? Please provide the viewer with as much value as possible. I want this video to go viral and keep my viewers engaged throughout the entire video. So again, we're really trying to be as specific as possible with what we want. And let's just go ahead and take an example from what it generated before. So let's go ahead and choose this one, pho. So I'll go ahead and copy this. And then I could just put something behind it like how to make pho. And then right here where it says the educational component, it went ahead and it actually made some subtopics for me. So I'll just go ahead and copy in this. And then I'll go ahead and paste it right here. So then now it's, can you write me an outline that includes the use of spices 
importance of broth in Vietnamese cuisine, and the balance of flavors. So boom, now that I have pasted that in, I'll go ahead and press enter. And now it's creating a suggested outline for my video. What you guys can also do is give it a limit. So you can say like, hey, I want my video to only be 10 minutes long, and then it'll create an outline based off of how long you want the video to be. Okay, so as you guys can see, this has created a really detailed outline for me to use for my video. And it's even created a related topics to cover section. So it's just really, really in depth. And this is only possible with ChatGPT. You guys probably won't get this kind of outline with ChatGPT 3.5. So again, I highly recommend investing in ChatGPT 4. Okay, moving on to number four. And this is kind of similar to what we just did with the outline, except for a different type of YouTube channel. This next type of prompt is more for the YouTube channels that like to create stories. So if that's you, this is a prompt that you can potentially use. So right here, write me an engaging story for a YouTube video about blank topic. I want my audience of description to be engaged the entire time and experience blank emotions throughout the video. So pretty standard uh, script for a story. You know, you want to describe who your target audience is and you want them to experience some sort of emotions throughout the video. Okay, so here's an example of what I put. So I want to write an engaging story for a YouTube video about the history of pho. I want my audience of young Asian American people to be engaged the entire time and experience the feeling of pride throughout the whole video. So we'll go ahead and press enter. And a way that you guys can spice this up is you guys can tell it things like, oh, I want this video to be viral. I want this video to be 10 minutes long and other specific things that you guys can tell ChatGPT so that it can include it in the answer. Okay, moving on to number five, which is using ChatGPT to write compelling hooks. Now, as content creators, you guys know how important the hook is. The very first 30 to 60 seconds of your video is super important. And so this is where you can use ChatGPT to help you come up with a bunch of engaging hook ideas. So here's the prompt, write me 10 engaging hooks for a blank YouTube video about blank that will capture the attention of target audience, create suspense and get them to blank benefit and keep it focused on blank subject. So based off of the previous example, I went ahead and I put write me 10 engaging hooks for a historical documentary YouTube video about the origins of pho that will capture the attention of young Asian Americans, create suspense and get them to learn about their culture and have pride in where they come from, keep it focused on the educational aspect while being witty and informal. So I'll go ahead and I'll press enter. And I was creating a bunch of different ideas that I could potentially use in my video. Okay, moving on to number six, which is being able to do research with ChatGPT. This one's pretty straightforward. Whatever that you want to know, ChatGPT4 can actually now browse the web and be able to give you a bunch of information based off of topics. And you can even give it URLs for it to comb through. So here's an example. I put, give me some interesting facts and statistics about blank that a blank specific type of audience needs to know about. Another example, it would be, what are the best methods or resources that will help blank audience solve blank problem? A third example, that would probably fit the video that I'm trying to make right now would be tell me about the history of blank topic as it relates to blank. Explain it in a way for someone to understand in today's world. And the last example that I want to show you guys is, you know, summarize blank book. What are the key takeaways? And this doesn't just apply to books. This also applies to websites, any news articles and things of that nature. ChatGPT can literally comb through all of those different websites and give you a summary within seconds. Now moving on to number seven, which is writing out word for word sections based off of the outlines that it's given you. So here's the prompt, write me a paragraph for each outline section on my video about title and then make it you know, blank tone and keep it under 400 words. My video is a blank type of video and should blank. And then here's where you enter in what your goal is with the video. So for this, I'll just go ahead and I'll paste my previous title. For the tone, I'll go ahead and make it witty and funny. And for the type of video, I'll just put educational. And then lastly, for the goal, you guys can put whatever you want. I just put this right here and then now I'll press enter. And so right here, it should remember the previous outline that it generated as long as you're not using a new chat. So if we go back to the previous suggested outline, you guys can see that it had the introduction, the background and the ingredients showcase. And if we go back to what it's creating right now, you guys can see that it's actually remembering what I wrote before. Now, once it's done generating the word for word outline, you can now move on to the next chat GPT prompt, which is revising your writing. So here's the prompt right here. Can you analyze my writing and create a new version that is suitable for a fifth grade reading level, use clear language and avoid complex words and sentences to make it as simple and straightforward as possible. And then right here, you would just have to insert the finalized script. And then from there, it'll take everything that you've written so far for your script and then be able to create a new version suggesting changes that you can implement. Okay, moving on to number nine, which is using chat GPT to help you come up with ideas ideas when you're editing your video. So with that revised script, you can go ahead and enter it into this prompt right here. And then also tell it to script it out in a two column table with the narration on the left, as well as the associated visuals on the right hand side. So right here in this example prompt, I obviously started from scratch, but you guys can have it call back the script that you entered. 
and then just be able to create a two column table with the narration on the left and then the associated visuals on the right. So I went ahead and I inputted some of the information already. So now that I'll press enter, it'll go ahead and generate a two column table. And as you guys can see, this is the narration on the left and these are the associated visuals on the right. So if you guys are having trouble coming up with ideas while you guys are editing the video, or if you guys want, you guys can actually just send this to your editor. And yeah, it's a great way to get a bunch of ideas on how you can edit your video. Now, once you've brainstormed your video ideas, you've created the script outline and you finish the edit, now it's time for you to actually post the video. So before you post the video, you're gonna need things like the title, the description, the tags, and other things like that. And that brings us to the next chat GPT prompt that we can use to create good video title ideas. So here's an example. Give me 20 title ideas for a YouTube video on blank topic. I want this video to go viral on YouTube and keep it under 70 characters. So let me just take the idea of the origins of pho and then I'll go ahead and press enter and then it'll generate some title ideas. So right here, I like this title right here. So I'll go ahead and copy that. And then what you guys can do is you can actually go ahead and put in the same thing. So I'll go ahead and copy the previous prompt. I'll put it back in and then I'll go ahead Ahead and I'll copy this right here and then I'll go ahead and paste it right here and I'll go ahead and say video titled and then I'll add quotations. So if I like this title right here, now it's gonna give me 20 more ideas that are similar and I'll go ahead and press enter and then it's gonna start generating some more title ideas. Now that'll take us to our next chat GPT prompt, which is being able to use these titles to come up with thumbnail ideas. So here's the prompt. What are some thumbnail ideas for this video title? And then you just insert the title right here. So I'll go ahead and I'll copy Vietnam in a bowl, the story of pho, I'll paste it in. And then right here, I also said, I want the thumbnail to pop out on the homepage and capture the audience's attention, getting them to click. So I'll go ahead and press enter. And then now it's gonna generate some thumbnail ideas that I can take inspiration from. Okay, moving on to number 12. And this is being able to use ChatGPT to come up with descriptions for your YouTube video. So here's the prompt, write me a description for a YouTube video that is SEO friendly and will maximize the chances of ranking at the top of YouTube YouTube search on a video about blank topic called blank title. So like I said before, YouTube is a place where a lot of people are doing a bunch of searches. So if you can make your description SEO friendly, then obviously that will help your video rank higher on the search. Now this next chat GPT prompt is a little bit different, but it's really, really good if you're a content creator that needs to put strict deadlines. And this is being able to use chat GPT to create content calendars. So for this example, I put create a content calendar for the next either week, month, quarter, or year. That includes a blank number of YouTube videos, a number of YouTube shorts, and a number of email newsletters. Obviously, Obviously you guys can put more, like if you guys post on Instagram, if you guys post on Twitter and LinkedIn, then you guys can put that on here. But whatever your goal is for the next week, the next month, the next quarter or year, you guys can put that on there and then ChatGPT will be able to create a content calendar where you can plan it all out. So again, if you're a content creator that struggles with meeting deadlines, just try this out and let me know in the comments below how it works for you guys. Moving on to number 14, we have using ChatGPT to come up with podcast interview questions. So podcasts have become really, really huge on YouTube lately and with that comes with the struggle of being able to come up with good questions. So that's where you can actually use ChatGPT to come up with a bunch of open-ended questions that would help make your interview more interesting. So that's exactly what I put here for this prompt. All you have to do is just plug in the subject matter expert that you're interviewing, as well as the topic that you wanna cover for the podcast. Another good prompt that you guys can use is what would a blank audience like to know about blank topic that I can ask on my next podcast interview. So if you're a content creator that's in the podcast industry, go ahead and try this out. You know, it's very difficult to come up with a bunch of ideas all the time. So why not use ChatGPT to help you come up with good ideas? Obviously it's not all gonna be perfect, but it's a great place to take inspiration from. And the last prompt that we'll go over is being able to use ChatGPT to create call to actions for you. So whether that's in your intro, your outro, or maybe even your mid roll, you can use ChatGPT to easily come up with a call to action, whether you're trying to get your viewers to subscribe or if you're trying to sell your product or service. You can be super specific and let ChatGPT know how long you want the call to action to be. And you can let them know about things like the topic of your video and you can change this to anything you want. So instead of getting your viewers to subscribe, you can maybe get them to click on a link in your description or maybe go to your website and buy some merch. Really the possibilities are endless with all of these prompts that I went over in this video. So feel free to reference this video at any point and let me know if these prompts have helped you guys out. Anyways, that is my list of 15 of the best chat GPT prompts that you can use as a content creator. I hope this video was valuable and if you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of videos dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business and to also help out new content creators. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.